welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my social media channels. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Origin on Windows. To start off with, first you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you are on this page, you now need to click on download on the left hand side here. And you now need to click on download underneath windows. And we now need to go save file. Once origin has finished downloading, we can now run the setup file. You now need to press install origin. And we can now choose where we'd like to install origin. I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive. So I'm going to actually leave it like that. You can now choose whether you want to have a desktop shortcut added, a start menu shortcut, automatically run Origin when Windows starts. I don't actually like that option, so I'm going to deselect that option. You can automatically keep Origin games up to date. I do recommend you keep that option on. You can also share your hardware specs. I'm just going to untick that. You now need to press I have read and accept and press continue. Once Origin has finished installing, you can now sign into Origin using your EA account. If you don't have an account, you can click on create an account and it will allow you to create an account. I'm going to go ahead now and sign in. Once you have signed into Origin, this is what you will end up with. And straight away, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, it has started installing The Sims 4. And that is because it has actually detected I have The Sims 4 on my machine already and it's re-verifying the files. Let's just go through Origin a little bit. I'm just going to maximize it and show you around. This is the home page, the home thing of Origin. In the bottom right hand corner you have your friends list which you can click onto and then you can contact your friends. We can go to Origin Access and this is a new thing that they have. Well, it's actually been out for a little while now, but you can pay monthly and play lots of different games, which is very, very cool. You can go to the store and we can purchase games and they will be added to our game library. There's lots of games on the store. As you can see, EA do lots of fantastic games. We can also go down to my game library and this is a list of all the games that are in your game library. And as you can see, I do have quite a few games. Origin do occasionally give away the free game as well. Which means keep an eye out for that because it's always nice to get a free game. That normally comes under browse games and they sometimes have it in a category here. Or it can come under deals and then it just says on the house. Or something like that, I can't quite remember. You can add a game up in the top right hand corner if it hasn't managed to find a game that's actually on your computer. You can also add non-Origin games as well. And that is pretty much it for Origin. It's just like any other game launcher. It, you can add friends, games and launch all your games and pretty much do everything. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social channels.